Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is an mp3 file. Now, of course, I don't have it cranked up all the way because I'm using it to support this user's question. Uh, someone by the name of Shadow came by live.perillo.com today and asked about how to embed images in mp3s. He had noticed that a few of his podcasts on his PSP were showing up with full-on icons instead of just generic mp3 icons. This is something that we've done in the past for the Chris Perillo show, and that's the MP3 that's playing in the background. Right now I've got it pulled up in Windows Media Player, and you can't see it very clearly right now, but the Chris Perillo show album art is the image that's inside the MP3 file. Now, there's a variety of ways you can go about adding images to your MP3 files. The easiest way I've found on Windows involves a piece of freeware that hasn't been updated in a few years, but I've got it running on Windows Vista perfectly fine. Uh, when it's installed, a new tab shows up in your Properties sheet. Okay, right-click a file, any file, and select Properties, which is typically the last item in that context menu. You'll see a handful of tabs pop up that give you more, I guess, information about that particular file. So when this particular shell extension is installed, the MP3 Info extension, you will see a new tab called MP3 Info, of all things and therein you'll be able to edit the files metadata and we've talked about ID3 tags in relation to MP3 files before now maybe I need to step back further and explain that an MP3 file is an audio file and of course the ID3 tag or set of tags is the information that gives a, a player, whether it's a hardware player or a software player, more information about that particular sound file so in this particular shell extension, I can go in and I can change the artist, the song name, the album, the year, the genre. I can add a comment. I can add a URL if it happens to be relevant. I can add lyrics to the MP3 file if there happens to be any. Then on the images sub-tab, I can go through and add cover art. I can add back cover art, leaflet, artist, conductor, band. All these types of photos or images can be embedded inside the MP3 file. Of course, the images won't be viewable unless the piece of software will support the embedded images inside an MP3 file. And most MP3 players, as far as software is concerned, will support things that are nice and simple, like just the regular old album art. So I browse for a file that's local to my computer, and then it will automatically split it and splice it and fit it right inside that mp3 file for me as soon as I hit apply it's done it's saved and then I can transfer that mp3 file can put it on the internet and anybody who downloads it will have that image art with them for all times unless of course they someone down the road decides to pull it out and strip it out why, why would they do that I don't know it makes it for a, a nicer way of viewing or listening to I shouldn't say viewing uh, listening to an mp3 file but I guess if you have an image you can view the mp3 file in a funky sort of way, I guess. With the uh, MP3 Info extension, you could also add an icon so that instead of having the generic MP3 icon on someone's desktop, it'll show up as an icon, whichever icon that you define. An icon is another type of image or another format, uh, a digital format for an image, and you can easily make your MP3 file look like no other MP3 file on the planet by adding the icon using the MP3 Info extension here on Windows. As far as uh, changing the image art within, uh, let's say you're on the Mac, I imagine, and I think someone mentioned that you can use iTunes to do that, so by all means, you could use iTunes to do something as simple as adding cover art to your MP3 files. If you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for?